Okay, uh, hi. I am Indextic, and I just wanted to make a video to explain a glitch that I found in Majora's Mask today. Um, it's a pretty big glitch, I think. Um, it basically allows you to warp to any owl statue in the game without having to ever hit it. So, as you can see, I don't have this owl hit. But if I go through here, you will see that the owl there is hit. Now the reason for this is because that owl is entirely separate from the one in South Cocktown. Now, because of that, I am able to use the Song of Soaring. But since I don't have any real owls hit, that sends me here. And I can warp there, it is fully functional. But that's not new. That has been known for a long time. What I discovered today was that uh, while Great Bay is kind of the default where it sends you, um, you can actually manipulate that or change it by using the, uh, the map in your pause menu. So if I hover over Deku Palace, unpause, and play Song of Soaring, the position of the cursor on the Song of Soaring map will change to Mountain Village. And again, this warp is fully functional. So now I can hover... or hover? <laughs> I can soar pretty much anywhere that there's an owl statue without ever needing to hit it. However, as you saw, the Deku Palace did not correspond to anything near the Deku Palace. And that's because uh, the locations on the Song of Soaring map and on the pause map are actually very different. There are a lot of places on the pause map that do not show up on the Song of Soaring map. Because of that, they don't actually correspond to the same place, as you saw. They all lead to very different places. For instance, I think the biggest skip that really comes of this is Goron Village, right here, actually corresponds to Stone Tower. And because of this, there's no longer any need to climb Stone Tower or to wrong warp to Ikana. Now that saves a lot of time and explosives, um, because like you don't have to climb up all of this, you don't have to wrong warp from Great Bay to Ikana. Like, there's no reason to ever go into Ikana Canyon now. So, that's basically how you can warp anywhere with this. Um, there's also a chart that was made by Fash, who had a pretty decently big part in uh, finding this. Uh, here. So, the left column is owl statues. The right column is locations... Er, no, sorry, I have that mixed up. <laughs> the left column is locations on the pause map. The right is uh, owls that you can uh, soar to. Now, you see the last one, Stone Tower, leads to dungeon entrance, and I'll demonstrate that right now. So, hovering over Stone Tower, unpause, play Song of Soaring. What this does is it puts the cursor right here. And after a bit, it scrolls through all the names and ends at Zora Cape. Hitting A makes it say Soar to Entrance, which is something that you normally only see in dungeons. However, if I hit Yes here, the game will softlock, and I don't want that. So, that's unusable as of right now, but it's very possible that that could become um, even bigger than it already is. <laughs> uh, so yeah, basically by hovering over any of the places on the left, you will be able to soar to any of the places on the right. And using these back and forth makes for very interesting um, routing changes that may be made in the any percent. Um, the best any percent route. Like, 
it hasn't really been worked on a whole lot yet, but we will see. Um, another interesting thing about this pause menu is that it's not just locations on the map. It's also the R and Z buttons on the side that correspond to warp points. But of course, these ones are glitched. Again, if I said yes there, the game would softlock. And Z, whoops. Z corresponds to... Everybody's favorite place in the game. So yeah. You can also, with this, kind of stack them. It's very strange. Basically, if you hit the R, play Solar Soaring, hit the R again, you kind of keep adding on to the value. It's very bizarre. Uh, SVA has a video of it. Uh, it's It produces some really weird results, but as of yet, there has been no way to warp anywhere other than owl statues. But, um... Yeah. That, that's about it, really. Uh, I really would like to see if this could eventually be used to get places other than owl statues, but as of right now, this is definitely a very cool skip. Uh, I really look forward to seeing how it will be used in runs. I also um, would really like to see if this leads to any bigger breaks, such as, um, well, really anything. I feel like this is a pretty cool find. And, uh, yeah, I'm gonna stop sucking my own dick there and just stop. So, yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope this somewhat makes it a bit clearer. I don't know. It's a weird trick. Thanks for watching.